at night. It's like, all right, your match is next. Nice jacket. <laughs> It was like he had a neighbors are like, hold on, what the fuck is this? I was honking. Like, we trying to go sleep <laughs> on a Wednesday. I mean, it's not like a well, I'm say people don't gotta go to work. People still gotta go to work, but you ain't gotta go nowhere. You just work from home. Yo, Wait, so they showed so Becky, and they're gonna get Baszler out here. Then Be- okay, yeah. sure, well, whatever. Take whatever. Some time to walk, you know. What what is this, dude? He's stretching. I like Shayna, but okay. I also said that her her style would not translate to the main roster because she wasn't getting crazy reactions on NXT, where you get the best reactions ever. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Can I just sleep in on my clothes, dude? Let's catch a sleeping on clothes. They picked the AEW sweater to sleep on, by the way. AEW. We are wrestling. Is that what it is? <laughs> sure. That's like what they're called. Um, Impact. TNA wrestling. Cross the line. TNA wrestling. Cross the line. That was Cross the line. Whoa. Actually, before, uh, Impact Plus, I wanted to watch some stuff. Whoa. Like, whatever. I'll watch it. I was watching Jeff Hardy turn heel the other night. I was dying laughing. What was that on? What? Uh, uh, well, then, wasn't it the end of a Bound for Glory? Yeah, it was. It was yeah. Bound for Glory. I, it was him, Kennedy, and... um. I thought, like Bischoff and everyone was involved. Yeah, it was, it was a, the match was a three-way or something, though. I have to watch that. And Hogan comes out and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> they ruined it. Um, Imagine Becky just loses now. Oh, that would be so funny. Uh, three seconds. Becky has to lose. She's losing. She has to lose. Yeah. In this match? In the third match of the show? Yeah. Lose. What? No she's way. been champ a year. No, mm-hmm. she's going to lose in front of a crowd. She's not losing in front of this. Who's the ring announcer? Oh, this guy. Mike Rome. Yeah, so poor Shayna Baszler, 38 years old, 39 years old, whatever I was here. This is her first mania, and she's in front of no people. It's like Shayna left NXT. You said it. <laughs> the WWE's women's division is nothing if Ronda isn't there. They're in, they're in the stalemate until Ronda shows back up. What if Ronda costs her? The match? It'd be cool, but you see, like, like Becky's still cutting promo. <laughs> oh, here we go. 2010. Let's go. What? The graphics? Nexus. No, Nexus. Look. Nexus. Right there. Oh, Nexus. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I thought they were going to change our <laughs> I'll wait till I get my. My oh, arm man is actually somewhere. What's the name of that group? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Green screen out, Mike. It's win another victory. Dude, Wade Barrett, what a waste. He was so good. 10 team. I wore a Nexus Punk shirt to WrestleMania 27. Yes. Yeah, so oh, yeah. I bought shirt. I bought a Nexus Punk shirt instead of buying the best in the world for Chicago. Breach, Breach was adamant that the Rock and Cena match was not happening. Yeah, I know. The whole promo. <laughs> and then he show, and then he shows up the next year, like, oh, I'm back. He's like, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> that's all good. Bad. No, that's all good. That trip wasn't bad. Not a lot happened, but it wasn't bad. I really honestly thought The Rock was just coming back for that one. I thought they would give us a little bit of something there, and that was it. In hindsight, that was just WrestleMania 27 was the build to 20. Yeah. <laughs> I got to rewatch that. I've never watched it. I was there live and never watched it. Don't do it. I was there live. Don't do it. <laughs> The Taker and Hunter match isn't terrible, even though yeah. it's slow. I remember marking out for Punk Orton. That was it. 
Yeah, it was all right. The ending was cool. It was like the first like yeah. that was like when like the first arcade it was out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Like we're literally just watching this because it's on. Like what else can like, I do? There's nothing else. There's nothing else going like, on. What are we gonna watch? Like, bowling? I'm just like I sitting here thinking over right now. If I could, I wouldn't be watching this. Classy fall RDC World. RDC World. Is that the kid who does the skit? Um, yeah, I know who he is. I don't follow him. But I know. Who he is. Okay, so you see that one with ESPN with the bowling? Yeah, yeah. Who everyone's marking up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that yeah, kid. They should put this on ESPN. Hey, Brandon. Hmm. Since there's new sports going on right now, have you started getting some uh, major action on the stock market at all? Oh, here we go. There's, I mean, I, I try to pick and I try to see what's out there. Like the only thing that I've I've, I've put money into is Boeing, just because Boeing got pretty low for a bit. Yeah, when it was ninety. Yeah, and I was like, let me just see, and look, it's it's eventually going to go up really big. Yeah, but I haven't I haven't really touched anything because I'm just afraid that things are going to just. Crash, because I almost put my money into Bitcoin, and that that thing fell out pretty quick. <laughs> Whoa! What kind of cut was that? What happened? Maybe it's just my internet. Here, take down. This light is killing me. I need to turn this off. Yeah, Bowen's the only one I trust it. Everyone else, I'm just very curious. Brief knows all about that pen stock. I'm going to buy some more on Monday. It was cheap. It went down to $8. I thought hey, it was going to buy some. Vince is enticing, man. 35 bucks. He was actually maybe 30 like now. But I put uh, 100 bucks into them last week. I just don't know if it's going to go back up. <laughs> they will have to announce something to get people excited again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just mad I didn't buy it when it was like $8. Well, I mean, like, we, we didn't know it was going to go. Well, no, but like I remember saying, like, like I want to. I think it was like six or something or seven something, and I was like, "Oh man, like I should buy this because like they're never not going to have a show." So like, you know, I figured, oh, it'll go up, like you know, and then it went to like ninety, and now it's like thirty. It's like so bright. Oh jeez. The rock bottom. Oh snap. You know the apron's the hardest part of the ring, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know that. Then you know. Where steel meets wood. God, remember uh, a booth? Kick you out the call mic, but there's no one really here. A German suplex on the edge of the apron. Ugh. I hated that show, man. That show was terrible. Look at Becky Lynch's face. She's just like, why am I doing this? Like, so is, is she really- still engaged to Rollins? I think so. Mm, that's not- that's not- oh my gosh. <laughs> she was distancing. Hey, you, you, you know um, the guy who calls Wrestling Observer live all the time? The um, John from Memphis? Yeah. yeah. I, I retweeted shit Grip would say and John answered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, don't hear, uh, I don't hear from uh, Jim from Virginia very Oh, well. yeah, dude. What happened to him? Ryan Norcross. He's funny. Person. He's funny. <laughs> the one kid, uh, the, Hispanic, the Hispanic guy. Tim doesn't call in anymore at all. Um, I haven't heard from him in a minute. The one Hispanic guy calls in every now and then. I haven't know. listened to Sometimes, sometimes I feel bad that we're probably one of the reasons why Brian and Vinny don't take calls and Brian and Vinny and Granny don't calls anymore. I just send emails. Still? Yeah, I've sent emails for the past couple weeks. Really? I mean, with me being home, I just listen to it every day now, live. I haven't listened to it in like probably a month at this point. Once I figured out you can listen to it through the iPhone app, I was like, yo, I just listen to it every day now. I have to go to my way to, to to listen. Are you um, are you working from home or are you just not working? Yeah, I'm just working from home. Oh, okay. When we had the option for, 
I always had the option to work from home. I would go on, on campus like maybe like two or three times a week, and that was pretty shut down. So it's Verizon, right? You work for Verizon. Uh, I work at Capital One now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So how many matches do we have total today? Eight. 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 And they've done three. Why couldn't they do this more like an NXT like takeover show? I mean even then when I don't know what's going on, I still get fucking excited for the matches. So yeah, did they air a, a promo package before this? I, I don't remember that. Yeah, they did. Okay. I, just, I didn't think so. Yeah, yeah, they did. I remember like watching the clips. Because that's the only way that I would know what was going on, otherwise. That's the one good thing about NXT. I don't watch watch any of the NXT shows, and then like they just do video packages before, and then it's all good. I think after this match, I'm gonna get like a bowl of our beer. Next after this match, what are you hour into in this show? I'm gonna fall asleep. We're almost two hours in the show. The biggest fan is right there (laughs) on the ceiling. Oh gosh! Yeah, <laughs> here, here we go. Two <laughs> minutes in the penalty box, Mike. Get out of here. <laughs> I need a screenshot of the fan. That needs to be a Twitter account by the end of the night. <laughs> remember, remember, like... when, um, remember when the um the twelve year old made the uh, the Twitter account for Cena's broken nose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be pictures of the fans, right? Oh, no one's made that joke. Oh, there, there it is. Told you. Made it <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, whatever. What the hell? Cares. That's it. Told you. Not a big deal. Who cares. That's some bullshit after we had Shane it into the chamber. <laughs> what are you doing now? Last mm. like you've given up. No, I'm sorry. How many drinks did we get with that free ticket for the jewelry? We got three free jewelry? Yeah. Man, jewelry was on point, man. <laughs> I just remember you like we can't be doing these hot dogs again tomorrow night, guys. Oh, like no. I remember that speech from you. Yeah, the food was not good at all. <laughs> we can't be doing these hot dogs. Again. It wasn't bad. It was just that that lunch dinner stuff. So. Bruce getting his bottle of pop and refilling it on the thing. Hell, oh, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> the way to do it, man. I remember Yo, Becky can't get a clean pin at WrestleMania at all, eh? Like, why is she even on the rope with the belt? Who, who is she? What is that for? It's for the crowd, dude. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna <laughs> need five hour energy after this fucking. Yeah, game. I'm gonna go refill up every bit. If WWE had any humor, they'd have one guy in the crowd just like the whole time. <laughs> 